It's the steak we're pouring in. I don't have too many exciting things to throw at you guys. It's not like I can squat and I can deadlift and I can do explosive muscle cleans and things of that sort. You know, kettlebell 200 pound snatches, nothing, you know, keg tosses, keg presses, uh, whoop the dummy's ass. I can't do any of that kind of stuff. But what I can do, fellas, is I can hit all time PRs and PT. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I think I've thrown this at you guys before. Life, fellas, is all about grabbing the bull by the horns, steering it in the direction where that next PR is. In life, it doesn't have to be a gym. You feel me? Right now, fellas, the biggest thing in my life, the biggest obstacle is the freaking full-on knee explosion. Listen, I went from not being able to walk, bedridden, stuck in bed, crutching around then, right? Uh, to eventually say, hey, get rid of the crutches. Okay, limping around, limping. Now all of a sudden I'm walking. I'm walking all right. And just the other day at PT, they said, hey, you could probably start, you know, ease, ease in the aerodyne bike, right? Just feel it, you know, feel it. Get the knee to feel it. You know what I did today? I hopped on the aerodyne bike, not even in PT. I did that on my own. I did it on my own and I pushed it and I pushed it and it was feeling tight. It was feeling tight and eventually it loosened up and eventually I was getting in the groove and I was feeling good and I was moving and I went five miles, all time PR, for PT that is, all time PR, blowing everything out of the water. You understand what I'm saying here, fellas? It's about the little things. It doesn't matter what it is you do. You grab something and you freaking smash it. You understand what I'm saying? This freaking is the next level, guys. I freaking back, back. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I can hit PRs on that bike. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I can hit PRs and bend in my knee, right? I can hit PRs and get the VMO freaking quad muscle to fire, making that sucker a little more dense. You know what I'm saying? Does that excite me? You bet your ass it does. That excites me. You know why it excites me? Because it's freaking self-improvement. And that's what life's all about. I was down in the dumps. I'll be frank with you. Listen, I didn't realize it until I wasn't anymore. After that surgery, I was depressed, right? I was depressed. And I, at the time, I couldn't really tell. But just the other day, something clicked. And I started getting more energy again. And after surgery, I was lethargic. I didn't, feel, I didn't see the point in anything. I didn't feel like doing anything. You know, I was going to the gym and like, but I wasn't excited, you know, ultimately, cause it wasn't, it didn't seem like a true meaningful, uh, freaking, uh, mission. Do you know what I'm saying? Of self-improvement, of better, bettering your freaking life. And that's what makes you feel, guys feel good. If you're in the dumps, you're feeling lethargic, you're feeling tired. If you're feeling lethargic, right? And you get good nights, rests and all that, and you're feeling lethargic. You gotta freaking adjust your mindset, honestly. And this is just, listen, I've been all about the mindset for damn near a decade now. Do you understand what I'm saying? About how to laser focus, hit the next five pound PR, whatever it may be, maybe another, maybe another pound, maybe another rep, maybe another set, whatever, it doesn't matter, but it's the freaking mindset that you're gonna go into the sesh. Every single day you go to the gym, you're gonna go into the sesh. You're gonna hit something bigger and better. That's the freaking mindset. But it just hasn't been until recently. You know, we're on the dips, the valleys, and then you get down to the peaks. You see the mountaintop. You see the light. And all of a sudden, your your, your freaking emotions start changing. You're feeling more positive. You're feeling giddy and freaking energetic. And it's like, well, damn. I think I was depressed because I'm feeling good. And ultimately, where does that come from? That comes from freaking control, fellas. Control that we have the tools the necessity, uh, the freaking capability to improve our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you just look at it in regards to, you know, a bigger lift and all that, well, what happens when you don't hit a bigger lift, right? And you're going to feel down in the dumps. You're going to feel depressed because you didn't have control. That You lost the control. It's out of your hands now. But that doesn't mean you can't do something else. Right? And I've said this before too. Maybe if you have a PR, you know, your eyes set in a PR in the gym for deadlifts or something and you fail. Hey, what, what's stopping you from hitting the PR on leg curls? Nordic leg curls, uh, glute ham raises, RDLs, any of that kind of stuff. That's freaking control. That's a freaking sense of satisfaction. And there ain't no point in living if you ain't trying to attain satisfaction. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what life is all about. Satisfying yourself. You feel me? 
So this is the freaking mindset, fellas. Five miles today on the air dive bike. Sticky Ricky is back. He's hitting PRs. So he's feeling good. He's feeling alive. And I just wanted to connect with you guys because, damn, I'm satisfied.